Welcome to the E3 Reaction Explosion. <laughs> well, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> this is your boy, Justin. <laughs> I'm coming in hot today. We, we, I feel like we should be sponsored by Mountain Dew. I want to scream this whole episode. Yeah. I want to just drink Mountain Dew and get crazy. And this is this is Bro Cephas Justin coming in hot on the ones. <laughs> I mean, I'm just landing. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is Hank Ray Matt. <laughs> Hank. Yeah, I'm still going to go with landing. Just more confused than I was earlier. <laughs> We're going to be hitting code red all night tonight <laughs> as we review what we saw at E3 over this weekend and into Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to come at you with these like a spider monkey. <laughs> the first thing I want to say as we get into this, by the way, is, and I made a little rhyme. That's that's what happens when I go extreme. I rhyme. Mm-hmm. I, I start speaking in uh, iambic pentameter. Wow, um, good. Yeah, that 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 wording just came from that glass he has beside him. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pros before hoes. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Bill Shakespeare over here. <laughs> um, no, 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 Billy. I have a question. Why? Why? That's my question. Why? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me let me ask you first, Landon. Why? Well, I mean, that's a very heavy question, Jason. Yeah. You first have to ask yourself, why are we here? And then you have to ask yourself, why that? The question, the question I, that I really need to ask is, when? <laughs> Better yet, <laughs> who? And, and the reason I say when is because my question revolves around the timing of this conference. Who decided <laughs> it should be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? I will say, unless this is something, they do that, Thursday? <laughs> something that I've just completely glossed over, I think going to the weekend... Is a relatively new thing. It's like because I know back in back in the day, back when you could watch like G four and stuff oh, like when that. When we were watching it on the tube, yeah, exactly. <laughs> back in standard definition, when it was E two. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like if I remember correctly, E three itself. We're recording this on Tuesday. Yeah. The, the conference itself just started. The conference itself just opened. Everything that we watched in online that was the preamble leading up to the actual convention opening itself. So. We haven't even gotten to E3 itself except just right now, but th- you asked the reason why. Why? why. why? Why are we getting Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Because every publisher, every every developer wants to one-up their competition. So one year, Sony did their presser the day before E3. So the year after that, all right, Microsoft, we're going to do ours two days before E3 starts. Mm-hmm. And then it's just conti- it, it's, it's a building up of arms. It's, it's a, oh, yeah, well, you're going to go at this date? I'm going to go at this date. And now it's like, especially in this era where, you know, there are networks that are covering it. There are people who, this is their jobs. Is like during E3, it's just like live tweet everything during the day. Oh, there are yeah. people like us mm-hmm. who sit around tables and record. There are people who sit into cameras and talk about it as it happens live. So they're giving us, the consumer, what we want. We can consume it all at once. And then, oh, by the way, now the convention starts. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. For me, it was difficult, especially, well, I mean... We're doing some work on the house, doing some different things. Sunday, I was kind of out of pocket Slacker. and missed out on some things. <laughs> but Monday, Tuesday, I've got a day job, you know. Mm, yep. And so I missed uh, out on some things because of that. So um, I will say this for the people on the East Coast, it kind of is a better situation than anywhere else because it's like, take for example, Sony last night. They went on, I believe it like almost 10. Yeah. Like it, <clears throat> like it said it was going to start at uh, bu- 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 like seven Pacific time. So yeah, that was close to 10 o'clock Eastern time. For us East Coasters, but like you said, if you have a job, you're like, all right, it's 1130, Sony. Like, like let's wrap, wrap it up. up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so right about the time when Spider-Man is done doing his thing, it's like, all right, and the evening news just wrapped. I got to go to bed because I got to be at my job in the morning. Yeah, so. so It just made it difficult on the, on the lay person. Where mm-hmm. people like me who just stayed home day drinking all day and watching the stream. So thank you, <laughs> unemployment. And, and I'm thankful for you because I know you've got plenty of notes to talk about. And I'm going to lean. And I know, Matt, you got to watch some. Uh, oh, Matt, I watched some, them all. You watched some of the YouTube streams. YouTube is and, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> you, got, you got a chance to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take us developer by developer. We're going to talk through what the highlights were. And then we're going to talk about winners and losers at the end. We'll put a little poll. We're going to do a little poll, too. A little poll. We do like to do polls on this. Guess what you don't need for it. Yeah. You don't need pants. No pants. Hashtag. No pants poll. Like I said, some people, it's just a poll. Some people, it's a way of life. (laughs) Okay. Let's start. (laughs) Let's begin with Saturday. The first conference was EA. And what did you guys take from the EA conference? I know that the they decided that Madden and FIFA and NBA Live all need storylines now. Yeah, and become your yeah. own legend. 
And this is nothing new when it comes to the EA press conference, but it's like, I understand why they show these games off, why they show FIFA, why they show Madden, why they show NBA off, because to a certain, certain group of gamers, every year that this comes out, that's an automatic 60 bucks out of their wallet. But at the same time, it's like, you guys already have this money. And it's like, Mm -hmm. I might, we might be those few gamers who actually like sports games, but at the same time, we're still cool playing Skyrim. We're still cool playing Mm -hmm. Mario. But it's like, for the most part, it's like, it is black versus white. It is day versus night when it comes to, oh, I don't want any sports games. And it's like, I see the same thing. I know we're jumping ahead a little bit. Whenever Microsoft breaks out the uh, Forza mm-hmm. uh, videos. Or, I was going to, yeah, we'll get yeah. to that. Or any racing thing. It's like, all right, sweet. You can make cars that look great. But it's like, give me some gameplay. And it's like, yeah. for EA to spend that yeah. much time on their on their sports franchises, I just didn't get. I didn't understand. Now, EA, EA mm-hmm. does set the bar when it comes to oh, yeah. sports gaming. Well, yeah, because say. they buy the exclusive rights to the <laughs> yeah. league. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but, I mean, it is it is good gameplay, good graphics. It's And they do, they do a good job. I feel like they raise the bar every I, year. But I think... Well, I was gonna say their mechanics, yeah, their their body mechanics and how people move and 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 just the the NBA live alone, like the mm-hmm. the the dribbling and you know the the moves you do on the court. I mean, are mm-hmm. astounding. I mean, if you didn't know what you were watching, you can almost think it was a real game in certain points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if if you're I guess far away from the TV and just kind of a glance, and you could probably <laughs> tell yourself, be like, yeah, that's that's a legit sport and. It's interesting that they're adding the story aspect because I guess I they I guess they figure that'll give you like a I mean I get it. They used to have this thing when they had the NCAA that you could start a team as freshmen mm-hmm. and you could build them up through mm-hmm. their senior year. Then when Madden came out cuz Madden I used I think it came out what a month later after yeah, NCAA mm-hmm. you usually you would buy Madden, and then your team mm-hmm. guys would recruit yeah, into the export. NFL. Yeah, you could, you could export. Yeah, you could players. export them into there. So it's kind of like you were building your own legacies. You were building your own people that you cared about. And the way this looks is like you're following one star. You're mm-hmm. that guy. You're mm-hmm. that standout. You're you're playing you're, your own episode of Friday Night Lights from the looks. Exactly. Of, of the yeah. You, Especially it, for yeah. the Madden one. Yeah. Everybody wants varsity blues up in this bad boy. You know, <laughs> they don't want your life. They want that guy's mm-hmm. life. And clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. There you go. But, I mean, I guess I understand why they're doing the story mode, because they want to add something new. But at sure. the same time, it's like, are you really going to go after, like, like, is there that gamer fan out there that's like, man, I really like RPGs. If only there were some RPG <laughs> elements know. into Madden or and FIFA, I would get on board. I will say this. I will say this. Madden, not so much, other than less, you can get like a Coke habit or maybe like, a, <laughs> an, like an ex-wife that just drains your bank account while you're playing or something. That's really the only realism I think they can add to that game. Mm-hmm. But the NBA Live, I will say this. I don't know if you noticed it. You might have you done the old skipper Rooney on it. You have to go into the streets and build your rep. Yeah, mm-hmm. you take your your, your street ball skills and you go into the you know you go into the cities and stuff like that. All these different courts and these locations, and you build your rep and you get skins and jerseys. And I guess you can get like different haircuts and stuff. I don't know. I would imagine there's yeah, you know, that, you, yeah. you you get this. That I think's cool because then it, it gives that. We had a lot of games come out over the years that were like. Street ball and I mean mm-hmm. NBA Jam was reminiscent of like, like NFL goofy, Street was a yeah game. NFL Street there's a good one you know I think the NBA Live's like okay let's EA's like let's capture this in here so mm-hmm. that's not bad I didn't think it's horrible but like you said are those people looking for RPGs well <laughs> they're not 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 only are they really not looking for RPGs <laughs> because typically especially with games like FIFA and Madden yeah. the online gameplay people set up these leagues they oh, play with a mm-hmm. bunch of people. Yep. And not just on separate teams, they play together, too. And so that's been, I think, that a lot of their audience are online game players now. Oh, yeah. Um, I would agree. So so it's kind of interesting. It's a weird choice, Mm -hmm. at least. But, you know, it wasn't only sporting games that EA EA showed us during their press conference. Let's talk a little bit about Battlefield 1 DLC. Battlefield mm. One still looks. I mean, from day one, it's been great. Yeah, they they that's a home run for them the entirety of the time. Um, they're they're introducing more um, more like guns, more skins. I'm not really crazy about the skins. I don't know if you get into them. Uh, if you guys really like you know making a gold gun to shoot people with, I'm fine with the autis- you know authenticity yeah. of mm-hmm. the real guns. But they also like their campaigns. If you guys haven't played any of those stories, mm-hmm. they're amazing. Mm-hmm. They are amazing. There's a lot of like like heroism in it. It's just it's really great. Um, I guess they're releasing more uh, themes with stuff, more seasonal DLC. 
Um, and they're, they I know announced the, a big expansion. Yeah, the big expansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've already got the French expansion, mm-hmm. which is cool. And then now we get to be the Russies. Yeah, in the yeah. name of the Czar is what Yeah, yeah that's it. I was oh, man. That, that snow. And now they're doing night maps. I was going to say, we get two night, two uh, two night, night maps. Which, and we get to snow-covered maps, which is going to be cool. And it's like we were talking before we started recording. Uh, by the time this episode drops, the Days of Play sale will be going on for one more day mm-hmm. on the PlayStation Network. Uh, they have it on sale for $30. And I was talking to y'all before we started recording. After seeing what, what's coming down the pipe for Battlefield Battlefield Field, field <laughs> 1, it's going to come really clear why I keep forgetting that here in a second. I'm, I'm really yeah. thinking about dropping the 30 bucks to get on board. <laughs> We know you will. Don't act like you won't. <laughs> exactly. You're yeah. going to do it. Yeah, smash cut to me next week. Boy, <laughs> do I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll allude to uh, that I'll probably be joining in that endeavor as, as I'm going to let go of another endeavor I promised to be upon. But I'm not going right. to. Right we'll now. Get, we'll get there. We'll get there. We call um, that a tease. Yeah. EA also announced an original game called A Way Out. Did you guys see the yeah. previews of that one? Uh, two players must work together to help two convicts I, break out of jail. I like it. And and, and it's coat. It's coat. It's couch co-op. Coach co-op. And I like that, but I don't know, man. It's like prisony, and I mean, you can do a lot of stuff, but it's it's more of a puzzle solving it together, is. which mm-hmm. is fun. Don't get me wrong; it looks fun, but I don't know the re- replayability of it's it. It's a very auspicious title. Uh, it is a game where you have to have somebody to play with. I think they even mm-hmm. said it's like there will be no like uh, single, yeah, single. single like computer takeover for for your yeah. player who's there, not there rather. It's from it's from the developer of Brothers, which was an indie title mm-hmm. that came out recently. It was a really good game, and it and that game was built on, I guess, the gameplay of one player relying on his brother. So mm-hmm. this is kind of another game it, where it's like you have to work with each other. Very auspicious. It's it's a game I feel like we haven't seen or at least presented the way that not that in we're that way. Get this, yeah. It. I still want to give it a shot before I'm like, oh, no. this looks sweet. I, like I said, it, the first thing I thought of when I saw it was the arcade game Kane and Lynch. Do you guys remember that? Mm-hmm. Where you had to kind of duel it out. But it, I think it was just a shooter game, you know. But you still had to have somebody to play with because that empty seat never helped you. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It, I know we always ask for co- a couch co-op, but this is a very intense game. It's like this is not you can just play with anybody. you got to play with some smart people with mm-hmm. this one. It's like, no, stop, stop knifing that guy. Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, it Stop really. It. Well, it really we're going feel, back to jail. <laughs> it really feels like the game isn't built for like Mm-mm. just casual drop in, drop yeah, out gameplay. Right, exactly. So some intense co op there. Um, I'm ready to talk about the elephant in the room. Well, mm-hmm. there is one more. I, well, Anthem is that the one you? No, want to Anthem talk? was cool. We'll talk but, about that. Later. But let me let me go ahead and, and 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 put this umbrella over the entire conference with Anthem. If I have to hear one more goofy dumbass talk between players. <laughs> we should get Ted in here. He needs the XP. Kill me now. <laughs> Effing kill me. It was the most scripted <laughs> garbage. Just don't say anything. Let me enjoy the music. Mm-hmm. You know, let me enjoy the guns or whatever the, the sound effects are. Stop talking. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> but Anthem looked cool. It just All looked right. like Mech Warrior. What did I miss? What did you, what, what, what you uh, want to miss? Need for Speed Payback. Oh, yeah. That's or right. as I like to call it. Fast and Furious mm-hmm. Need for Speed. Yeah. Because you're just stealing cars now. I'm like, I have Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I don't right. I don't need this one. <laughs> I mean, I like Need for Speed. Don't get me wrong. They do a great job with, with some of their story. Their car driving in, in like Underground and Underground 2 are probably one of the best racing games. I don't care what anybody says, unless you're into supercars and then, you know, the Grand Tree smows your jams. My hashtag names. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as like street cars and stuff like that, Need for Speed knows how to do it. It's just this looked like freaking. I was waiting for Don Toretto. Hey, yeah. hey, let's get that car. Jeez, mm-hmm. oh, It's me. about family. I'm calling it's it right family. now. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. We're totally getting Fast and the Furious DLC for this game. Oh, this absolutely. Absolutely getting it. Can, it can I get a wife beater in black jeans <laughs> and no hair? Yep. Mm-hmm. Done, done. <laughs> and Tyrese. And Tyrese probably comes here first. And I, th- I think that that, <laughs> that that sets you up for what okay. you really want to talk about. I wanted to say that Need for Speed Payback, November 10th, is yep. when that one hits the store. So, last but not least, we want to talk a little bit about something that's a little close to my heart, and that is not Battlefield. Yes, yes. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Or S does BF2. <laughs> <laughs> or, or made to order. They might as call it BK. You can have it your way Seriously. because everything that we keep hearing about this game is it all incredible. it's all reaction they, to everything that happened with Battle Battlefront One. Well, they See, listened. It's pretty easy. To mess up. Yeah, they, they they did a good job of going easy, guys. We got the comments. We got them. You know, we we can't make it in this game. We'll put it in the next one, which sucks. 
But I understand it because what they've done with the vehicles, mm. with the characters, I mean, I thought we were just going to get, you know, cut scene craziness, which mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, when um, Darth Maul throws that, his yeah. stick. Oh, and it just, comes just Oh, he kills all those people like and then he boomerang? catches it back. He's like, good day, mate. No, he didn't say that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that was awesome. I like Darth Maul. I think he's a cool character. But th- th- just that. And then, then they did actual gameplay for, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, they dedicated a lot of, a lot of time. And it was great. This I did see, by the way. Mm-hmm. And, th- and they done something in this that I think they followed the Battlefield 1 um, uh, kind of mechanic is classes. Mm-hmm. And right. I, I like that. Yeah. I think that the that's heavy, a good thing. I, yeah. I, I know you guys are like super, super players on it. So what did you think about them going to classes and being it where you would load out like a heavy or load I like out it. like a scout? Oh, or, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I like the fact that they're implementing that change as opposed yeah. to, all right, you can just be whatever. Figure it out, dude. Yeah. And just go, go, because go what you get is just a hodgepodge of people who don't really know what they're, mm-hmm. you know, how yeah. to specialize and what they're doing. This guy right here. Yeah. It's me too. <laughs> I mean, you, you, it is like when you're playing, it doesn't matter if you're playing as rebels or, or empire, it's a war of attrition. It's just bodies flying yep. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yep. It'll be interesting to see how the strategy comes into play as I people think, start I to Play you're gonna have to play as, yeah, you're going to have to play as a team. Well, with yeah. them implementing the classes system into the game, I do think you do have to start, yeah. like like you guys said, playing as a team. You can't just go be John Skywalker Rambo and just go run off over the horizon. Hoping yeah, to take well, you could down. do that. You could do that. <laughs> I mean, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of, one, you know, one of the things I did see was, you know, the whole... Um, with the classes or everything, it was like people were trying to be different things. Mm-hmm. And I know some Battlefield, if I see a crap ton of snipers, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. a medic today. Yeah. You yeah. know, because mm-hmm. it, there's no point to yeah. it. You know, you're going to get annihilated. And that, so that, that was pretty cool. That's actually something I hadn't even considered is there's now going to be a little bit of meta reaction mm-hmm. based mm-hmm. on what you see exactly. in the Battlefield. You'd be like, like you said, it's like, all right, well, crap ton of snipers today. Well, time to Got be a medic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, that was, and that was one of my things when I started playing it with Justin one night. I was like, where's the sniper? Yeah. And he's yeah. like, well, they only got one that shoots far away. I'm like, Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. oh and and you, you better be a good shot. Oh, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm all about it. I mean, yeah. I'm all. But I thought, I thought the mechanics of it were, you know, zooming in with whatever gun that was, and mm-hmm. then the the heavy that had the big shield. You got to get around. But mm-hmm. I was all about the flop battles, guys. I was oh, all gosh. about the holy I love, crap. When I he love was, space when he was, battles. I don't know if you watched this clip or he, this. It was on the boo, and he's chasing somebody around. This this. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a, a pre tie fighter looking thing, mm-hmm. and he's blasting things out of the sky, and he kind of miscalculates a little tower, and he goes, "Whoom!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, "Nice!" Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. loved it. I, th- I was I was super excited. The starship about it. battles were some of my favorite things oh to do God. in Battlefront One. I love yeah. doing yeah. that. Yeah, uh, yeah, like the, the whole forty on forty. Let's just that see. Was, oh gosh, that's fun that was, stuff. That's chaos. Um, so this game, Battlefront Two, apparently is promising three times the content of the mm-hmm. first game. Big headline here, we're burying the lead. Free DLC. Thank That's you. right. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. So so we're supposed to be getting characters and maps and apparently... For a uh, while. Yeah, Finn and Captain Phasma are going to be coming out That'll in the holiday season. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to want that chrome armor on everything. You'll see <laughs> oh, that on yeah. everybody. Mm-hmm. It's a Skywalker. It's not a chrome helmet. <laughs> All chrome everything. <laughs> Every yeah. chrome everything. I'm chromed out. But I kind of feel like, really, if you look back at Battlefield 1 and you make a list of the complaints that people had based on, you know, I said Battlefield 1. I know, right? you guys are Battlefront. Just, you guys are having a real hard time here. Battlefront 1. S dubs BF. Yep. <laughs> yeah, whatever he said. Yeah. Uh, S dubs. But you could just go down that list and just, just tick off every single one of the, the complaints mm-hmm. and say, oh, well, they answered this one, they I answered like, this one. I know one. they hit the ones we personally all yeah. talk about. So. I mean, single player aspect, no paywall where the real game is hidden mm-hmm. behind. Uh, we were talking about it earlier, the class aspect. It's like, this really feels like, you referred to it earlier, a reactionary development, but not yeah. necessarily... A bad not in a bad way. No, they did a good job. Mm-hmm. Not Suicide yeah. Squad. Exactly. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wasn't going to bring up any comic books, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I'm very excited for this game more so than I was even before we got to E3. And it also goes to show just what can happen if John Boyega yells at somebody on social media. So John <laughs> yeah. Boyega, it, use they your power bring for it up. good. They mm-hmm. did bring it up. Well, yeah, because John Boyega is the man. I'm going to make a comment on every one of these presentations. That guy that was leading it, how tall is that guy? I swear to you, he looked like a human Gumby. <laughs> he was like, he's like, hurry, hurry, got my fault too for you. Let me skate away. <laughs> I, Hi, Pokey here. I, I don't remember the, uh, the, the, was, the Gumby he presentator. Was, he was huge. Present, he had a green shirt even. Yeah, I know. Presentator. Like, it's, like, Presenter. Like, it's, it's late in the day. My brain stopped working. But I don't know. That, that, that guy was kind of weird. But I will say that, I'm going to say on every one of them, they're all like, I think they've, 
they they represent nerddom very well. I will say that. Well, we we've gotten to this point because in years past, uh, Bethesda and Ubisoft and EA they, they would had all, some slick guys up there, but they would bring in celebrities, and it's True. like for every for every Aisha Tyler and Joel McHale who did a really good job hosting it, you get somebody like Jamie Kennedy who just goes <laughs> out there and it, like is either drunk, high, doesn't care, or all of the above, and just bombs his way through a two hour like presentation. You just got exed. I will exactly. say this, and now Jamie Kennedy's gonna be pissed for that me. presentation. They did bring out the woman who i guess they based the character off in the campaign oh, yeah, that was cool mm-hmm. she was cool but man oh man i don't know if she knows all what she was saying <laughs> she's like i was like do you really believe that or you're just trying to get the crowd hop because i mean i felt bad for her sometimes she's like what do you think about that crickets because <laughs> i don't think the crowd knew what to do well see that's the crazy thing this like e3 is supposed, and was, to, is supposed to bring to be... a woman like that to e3 i think is dangerous anyway oh, calm down. <laughs> no are you saying they were just be... like oh it's supposed to be a press conference where, yes, like there definitely is an aspect for us, the public, no. to intake and see. Yeah. But at the same time, this is supposed to be where journalists, journalists go yeah. to, oh, I know. to like you know do their job. So I can't really fault them for being like, yes, Woo! though I will say it's like we did see some people. I think it was in the Sony or Microsoft. Like it was the second announcement, and it smash cuts to the audience, and there are these people like doing the bow down <laughs> motion. Yeah. It's like. We're two in. Can y'all like just calm it down for a second? Yeah. You know, Easy. Be a, do your job. Yeah, we'll make more be professional. Games. Act yeah. like you've been there before. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on to Microsoft. Yep. They were they were the second presenter, and uh, a, of course, a big announcement was Project Scorpio. A current is has officially been named Xbox One X. Yep. Yeah. And Xbox One X. Of course, uh, it was they wanted to demonstrate you know all the 4K capabilities. So we saw we saw a lot of that. But what else? What else did we take from the Microsoft presentation? Well, it was definitely all about you know building that hardware. Um, I like the. Did you notice they were trying to build that rebel image? Like they're like outside the, mm-hmm. the mainstream. I thought that was funny. Yeah, I, Microsoft I, I, is totally outside. <laughs> I have notes on every one of their kind of images they came in with because I was like, this is funny. Mm-hmm. It's just very, very, they're trying to sh- show you something and it's like, okay, you guys are rebels. You're really leading the charge. Well, then I mean, even, even their opening like video of that splash, it showed like the evolution of gaming. But apparently, according to them, gaming only started when the first Xbox <laughs> started. Right. And, yeah. and, and if you they go to in- their museum, it does. <laughs> they invented gaming. Yeah, well, PlayStation <laughs> 1. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking they about. They invented the controller. Yeah, <laughs> which is coming back, by the way. The, the beefy oh, gorilla controller they're going to bring back around Christmas, I heard, is part of it. It wasn't announced in there, but it is a part of their thing. Who is clamoring for that? People with big hands. I don't know I, because it was... Was the most it was the biggest dashboard I ever had to Seriously, play with. Seriously, that original Xbox controller was the worst. But speaking on the original Xbox, mm-hmm. um, you get to play original Xbox right. games now. Yeah, that was that was a big announcement. So I am ready to play some Fable Lost so Chapters. Backwards mm-hmm. compatibility. Yeah, yeah that's all a the big way deal. back. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to go probably repurchase a copy of uh, Crimson Skies. There you because go. They named that by name. It's oh, going yeah. to be backwards compatible. So and I'm I wonder, very I wonder what kind of on on um, you know community you're gonna have with that i mean you talk mm. about dogfight city seriously Shoo. but uh that was that was a big one november 7th i guess is when that and and get your pocketbooks ready because it is $4.99 that's, what, that's yeah. exactly <laughs> what i was about to say that's a that's a heavy price point but to swallow i like it because xbox s is now $199 mm-hmm. they well, dropped the piss out of that thing and i was gonna say i mean it's like it looks like a fun piece of technology but i would get the s right now like I, yeah. I am already in my mm-hmm. mind trying to wheel and deal my original uh, Xbox One out mm-hmm. and and get enough to just barely you know put some pennies together and get that S just for the the more capabilities and it, like slightly faster processor. Everything that they showed for the Xbox One X, I'm sure it's a really fun piece of technology. They called it the smallest Xbox ever yeah. made, and then yeah. and then they made the claim it is small. that it's going to be the strong or the most powerful console in ever, the world in, ever in the world. For a year. Suck it. Period. Yeah. But nothing that they showed me, it's like, okay, I got to start saving money because, like you said, they just drastically gutted the price on a 1S. And if I didn't own one, right. I'd go get a 1S yeah. like, like without, without hesitation. I know. I, I will say this. If you're trying, for, and, and I know Justin can speak to this, and probably you can too. If you're buying a gaming PC or laptop, you're not going to get it for four ninety nine. Mm. There is no way in this green earth that you're going to get something quality for four ninety nine in right. that genre. 
So them putting it at that, that's reasonably priced with that competition. Right, if you're thinking of it against it's gaming PCs. Exactly, but in the console market... Yeah, I was going to say... No. Compared to their competition... The pros what? Uh, $399? Uh, uh, yeah, $399. Uh, you know they'll drop it. They'll drop it down to three twenty five. dollars and I, just have a heyday. I was actually kind of thinking there might be some price reduction on, on at least the pl- uh, PlayStation 4 original. But, oh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, PS4 Pro sitting very pretty at $400. Yeah, isn't yeah. that? Did you see that gold PlayStation I put on Twitter? Oh, yeah, on Twitter? I saw that. It was like two hundred bucks, wasn't it? Yeah, two hundred bucks, and you get. Um, I think it's two fifty. You get the gold controller, and it comes with the yeah, one terabyte. That was sexy. That's it, the yeah. terabyte drive, yeah, and, then you, sexy. and then you yeah. get uh, a year of uh, PSN. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it seems like they're throwing a game in with it now. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. So so keep making these 4K <laughs> consoles because I can get the ones that I play <laughs> today. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't have any. I don't have any shame in that game. You know, <laughs> g- you go ahead and make these freaking. Picasso's and put them out there because I will be reaping the benefits. All right. John Levins. <laughs> and and I will say it's like I do like the fact that Microsoft isn't going to fracture its fan base when it releases the Xbox One X. They've said Xbox One games will yeah. be will be playable on Xbox oh, yeah. One, Xbox One S and Xbox one X. Yeah. God, there's so many stupid letters. But well, yeah. Battlefield versus and, Battlefront. And that's, there's a lot of grandmas out there going to get the one, right, the <laughs> wrong one. Oh yeah, oh, Christmas is going to be very crazy. I need for Christmas. I need an yeah, Xbox so. One. Okay. Well, we probably need to tell like p- places like GameStop to bla- brace for Christmas because there's going to be a lot of returns and exchanges. Yeah, I mean. yeah. They're going to go in there. Uh, yeah, my son wants the Xbox One. Uh, do you remember which one? It, uh, it's a one with a letter at the end. Okay, which one? <laughs> which one? How fast? Which one? How old is he? No, 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 no. Which one? Here's, is he seven? He gets an S. Here's the better. <laughs> here's the here's the question that they will, that the parent will respond with. Which one is cheaper? Bingo. And guess what? Xbox One S is going to be walking out the door, I'm sorry. and the five hundred dollar Xbox One X is going to be. Sitting oh there. God! I Dis- don't... Disappointment oh. on Christmas. <laughs> but here's the thing. I mean, really, does the X matter to anybody, but professional gamers and developers? Does it matter? Well, the, you've got you definitely have like uh, tech files, you know that that mm-hmm. one. Yeah, that's day, true. Day, day one adopter kind but they're of not people. 10. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. If you have a 4K TV, yeah. you're you're definitely more. Well, that's likely, why I thought about the S. Likely you know? to get the X, but I mean, like you said, the S is still the, out it'll there. It'll run 4K. The Pro is is out there. Runs yeah. 4K. So, yeah. I'll get to the mm. Pro when we get to Sony right. because I feel like. That has to do with VR, but oh yes. But um, I will say, and we've seen it too. It's it's bared out that the stats for the Xbox One oh, it's X impressive. Are setting the bar. It's I impressive. mean, it's a benchmark. It's a hoss. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, so, and it's small. Yeah, I'm really is, surprised they're able to get that much horsepower into that small of a console. The chassis technology keeps shrinking, man. Well, you know, they've they've talked about the cooling technology that they've got yeah. in it, and that's what, that's what really makes the difference. Now, I don't really understand it so much. It's something about liquid gels it's or something like that. Cooling, yeah, yeah, liquid yeah. Cool. which is cool, man. I, I saw how it cool. works. It is cool. Ah. It's cool. <laughs> so cool. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? If it if it can Ice keep my cold. <laughs> if it can keep my console from not sounding like a plane getting ready to take <laughs> off, I'm fine. Hey, I figured out how to fix that. If you take and you blow out the seven dust bunnies that are in it, it stops making that noise. That does help. I, I have a 360 that sounds like it was a, I don't know, a NASA launch every time. It's like, oh. like, nice like impact. I could hear it downstairs. Wait, let's get with the times. It's a SpaceX launch. Oh, SpaceX launch or Blue Origin. <laughs> or a landing. Or a landing. Um, but they had a bunch of exclusives. Um, yeah. I've got them all here. Hey, let's talk about... Uh, Which what? one do you want to jump on here? Well, let, you already mentioned it, so let's talk about Forza really quick. I just want to say Ford it did look race. gorgeous. <laughs> it but look, it looks great. I'm Every not a supercars fan. Yeah, like I don't care to like drive the 24 hour Le Mans <laughs> or. And I mean, don't get me wrong. The graphics of the inside. Granted, this is the X that we're seeing, yeah. but seeing the steering wheel and reading the digital readout on like mm-hmm. you know those Le Mans car. I mean, that is beautiful. It's really cool. <laughs> it's so they, awesome. They, one of the trailers that, or at the end of the trailer, they were showing for Forza. It was like um, it was it was raining and yes, the sun the was puddles, going down. Yep. And that was that was gorgeous. a beautiful landscape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you could it, see the weather change in this. Yeah. Justin's just gonna pull over to the side. And I would. I'd hit, hit stop the button. And take, you just get like, out. Wait a minute. What what button do I use to pull <laughs> out my smartphone <laughs> and take Can a picture? Can you take selfies? <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, Grand Grand Theft. Is Dyer. that a double rainbow? <laughs> oh God, you could go viral. <laughs> but but they had great environment. Um, uh, reactions, like renderings. Yeah, 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 renderings. Uh, they said the water would build on track. You mm-hmm. know, uh, as it got hotter, your tires would wear faster. There's a lot of stuff they were doing. It was a really great job, I thought. Yeah, but it's still a racing game. It it's is a racing, racing game. game. Don't get me wrong. It's a racing game, and that's not that's not our hashtag jam. No, like like the last racing game that I put a ton of time into was Burnout and Mario oh, man, Kart. Burnout was awesome. And and, and now, Forza Seven is not either. I of was those. a Gran 
Turismo two guy. Yeah, I like, and Gran I Turismo love too. Gran Turismo two. I was I was a huge fan of it. You couldn't stop me on that Quattro TT baby. I was lighting it up. Too but serious. When, but when well when you had to do your own oil changes, I don't want reality. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't want the do it change right and clean the car to make it faster. Oh, I agree. Let with me that. tell you something. That's not a reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not how this works. My, my the mouse that I drive. I can clean that thing all day. It's not getting any faster. That doesn't add any horsepower. No horsepower. Now, I've heard stickers will, but... <laughs> Especially if they're flames down the there's side. There's flames down the side graphics. Thank you, AutoZone. Um, we but, expect your check in the mail. Yep. And, and I'm going to keep you waiting on getting to the big one. I want to talk really there's quick. There's some big ones There are there. some big ones, but but there's one in particular I know you want to talk a little bit about. But, but uh, I, I want to push talk, that one to another one. Anyway. I want to talk about Minecraft for a second. Minecraft because, looked... Did, what did you think of the new packs? You're a big Minecraft guy. Well, what did you think? Actually, my son is the big Minecraft guy, and I, and I can tell you this, like, he saw the announcements before I even did, and he came down and he was like, Minecraft is gonna cross-platform, and he was, like, freaking out about it, and Everything. I think that's the big, yeah. That's the, yeah, a, that's big. That, so, so across all the systems, there, and yeah. he was telling me, because right now, like, on your phones, you've got Minecraft PE, you've got mm-hmm. Minecraft PlayStation, you've got all these different editions, but now there will that will not exist the, anymore. Yeah, there's no there's one mm-hmm. Minecraft, and you're gonna be able to play with people on their, who are on their phones, on their Xbox, on their PCs. Mm-hmm. Now, the question is, will they be able to break down those walls? <laughs> because Rocket Minecraft League. is going to be on the Switch, and it, it's, already mm-hmm. on, it's already on the Wii U, it's already on the PlayStation, so will they be able to get to the point where it's they need total to. cross-platform? They need to. And, I, and on, on top of that, I mean, there's no point in trying to keep people out. I mean, I think Rocket League is actually a game that does go across... All systems. all systems. With one caveat. Can you guess Wh- who the holdout is? Sony? Is it Sony? Yep, of course. Are you freaking kidding Mm-mm. me? No, I am not. Uh, Pull your y- thumb out of your ass. Microsoft and Nintendo and the PC, they're all ready to let everybody get their Rocket League on while, oh, while Sony's over here sitting in the corner. Oh, I want to play by myself. I know. Yeah. Stop it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and maybe maybe Just we're missing the point. Stop. Maybe there's... Stop it. <laughs> You're being mean. You're bugging the world. Yeah. I mean, break those walls down. Mr. Mr. Sony. So based on that, it would make me feel like they can probably make some progress with some other areas, but Sony will probably oh. be the lone holdout. And user content is being incorporated, oh, yeah. which, which used That's to be just cool. a PC thing. Yeah. And I know That's pretty my cool. son's all about that freaking user content oh, crap, yeah. and I'm sure yours is too. Yeah. Well, it's I'm, all about the mods. And it's, and it's kind of like going back last year when I was yeah. jumping up and down on, on tables and, oh my God, consoles are finally getting mods for you know, mm-hmm. Fallout and Skyrim. This is the exact same thing for Minecraft. Yeah. This is huge. So yeah, it's pretty it's, cool. It's, it's big for them, so... I thought that was pretty good. Um, Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Right. Dragon Holy Ball Z fighter. damn! I, I didn't know who would that be excited about crazy. that. I was like, uh, yeah, I, it's, like, not, it's not me. And so I did not think at me being thirty two years old, I could I could get that type of reaction out of a Dragon Ball Z <laughs> video game trailer. That thing looked amazing. Here's, like, here's my thing: Can we get some DLC in there and finally find out if they're better than Goku or not? That's all we need to know. That's all we freaking need to know. They've actually announced a uh, a gameplay mode. It's Goku versus everybody. Spoiler alert: <laughs> Goku wins. So, so you know, um, we started uh, like a couple of years ago. My family decided that we were going to watch some Dragon Ball Z, and I guess my wife, my wife, my wife, um, being a closet nerd her whole life, um, she was a Dragon Ball fan from way back, and the kids liked it. So we decided to watch some of the episodes, and what I discovered was that. Battles in Dragon Ball Z episodes can cross multiple mm-hmm. episodes, three yeah. or four, a single battle, because they spend half the time going, <laughs> <laughs> like they get stuck. They, get, they, get, they have to zoom in on a bead of sweat that's mm-hmm. going down somebody's face for about 10 minutes. Yep. I'm, I'm like, am I watching a David Lynch version of Dragon Ball Z? What the hell is going on? As somebody who got thrown off the freshman football team because he refused to go to practice because he wanted to go home and watch the Cell Saga airing on Toonami on Cartoon Network, yes, everything you said is a thousand percent true. So here's my question. Are battles in Dragon Ball Z <laughs> going to last days? Months? Uh, hold on. i got to put this on pause. It's like a chess match. Hold on. I'm going to have to put this on pause, guys. You have to spend like, like two hours powering up. <laughs> I really hope that they streamlined that aspect of Hold the Hold on, show. I've, I've got to <laughs> contact my financial advisor. I'm going to go ahead and invest in controllers. Because <laughs> evidently you're going to have to tape down a button. <laughs> but it's like, all, all joking aside, like this is a game that it looks like you're playing an episode of Dragon Ball Z. They did a great job. Especially those power moves. And it's very similar to like Marvel versus Capcom. You have the three-on-three mm-hmm. gameplay aspect where you can tag in and do assists. And everybody has crazy, you know, Kamehameha's and spirit bombs, big big endings like that. I am curious 
how big is this roster going to be? Because if like as cool and as gorgeous as this game looks, if there's a roster of like 10, 10 people, dudes. like you're going to go through that really fast, especially when it's a three on three format. Well, they've got the DLC for you. I would imagine. And that's what I'm afraid of because yeah. it's like, uh, there's a Dragon Ball Z game. I mean, like, this is Dragon Ball Z Smash Brothers, more or less. It kind of is, but it's like there's a there's a very successful Dragon Ball Z game out. It's called like Xenos Verse or Xeno Saga. Mm-hmm. It's like they've had two iterations on current consoles, and they just DLC the hell out of you. So yeah. I'm really worried that that's the route that they're going to take. Yeah. But as it stands right now, I'm super excited to play uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighter or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah, and. Like I said, I never thought in a thousand years that as a 32-year-old man, I would have that reaction to seeing a Dragon hey, Ball Z fighting game. They, they, they build on that nostalgia. And plus, I mean, that, that, that community hasn't went away. So, yeah. no, I mean, mm-hmm. they're still waiting for two fights to end. So, <laughs> <laughs> we saw, Hey, at Free Comic Book Day, we saw a Goku. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we that's did. true. That's true. I forgot all about that. Well, and, and it seems like here recently, for whatever reason, Dragon Ball Z is becoming more popular again online. So, it's yeah. perfect timing you, for them. I think it's because they, in the last, I want to say it had to be in the last six months, that they um, put like all of Dragon Ball Z streaming. Yeah, I think that's part okay. of it. Okay, that would definitely help. It it inter- it can a introduce itself to a whole new audience, and b it can get you know dorks like me rehooked. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, Matt. What else did you want to talk about before we get to? Uh, State of the K two was pretty good. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I thought that was. You know, we we talk, you talk about. Uh, I thought of you, Landon, when I saw it. It looks like what. Um, Left for Dead should have been, and I even I even have some. Notes Did you have here. Left for Dead on there? Yeah, yeah, like because uh, it looks like that's where they should have gone with the with the genre and really picked up with that kind of just craziness, and mm-hmm. and it looked almost like the same special zombies. Literally in my notes, special zombie types, all a Left for Dead four. Oh Left yeah, it looks exactly like it. Now that guy getting ripped in half did not see that happening. <laughs> yeah, that there was is, a guy that literally got ripped in half in front of us. And if you noticed, it was the main character, or at least the person oh, who yeah. was voicing who we thought. Yeah, <laughs> that was voicing that uh, trailer and ripped into entrails everywhere, super gory. In the next scene, or the next voice you hear is a new voice. It's a new player. Hmm. So that makes me wonder: is there going to be like almost a rotating main character, like, Ooh, like, like th- throughout this? this what game? if you get a group and you can pick between them, but as you lose them? You, yeah. you can't use them. It so could, that's, that, that would be kind of crazy. It could almost use uh, the same system from like XCOM uh, mm-hmm. Enemy Within. It's like you can build up this crew, build up this crew, but death is permanent in this game. And it's like, oh, if you lose, you know, uh, Jim Randall from down the street who was really good at, you know, sniping or whatever. Tough stuff. Jim's dead. He did. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He um, did. Just quickly touch on Crackdown 3 with Terry oh. Crews. I love Terry Crews. That game's awful. Like, I never did like Crackdown. The I, first I don't, Crackdown was, was awesome. so boring. You're completely wrong. But please <laughs> Maybe you got to be on drugs. <laughs> I wasn't at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Terry Crews, good on him. And, and I mean, I don't even know they needed sound effects. He makes his own. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he did a good job with the intro of that one. Um, it looks like that's going to be the big launch title for the Xbox One X, because yeah. that drops November 7th. Same and that, I would think that out. game's probably going to be very, very... It, it was very neon when they did it the first time on the 360, mm-hmm. and I feel like they could really uh, exploit the graphics you know, on, on the X. And, well, and, and fingers crossed, but I will say it's like on that uh, trailer... If you go back and look, it's a lot of like prepared videos, like not a lot of gameplay. Mm. So it being I this know. close to its release and we haven't really seen true gameplay mm. footage, I'm a little leery. That does make yeah. you a little nervous. Well, we'll see. I mean, and especially since it looks like Microsoft is positioning Crackdown 3 to be the must-own title for when the X comes out. And it was a cartoony looking graphic set anyway. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was one of those very early adopters of the shell or yeah. cell shaded look. Cell shaded. There you mm-hmm. go. Yeah. And uh Kind of going through, I can run through a bunch of these real quick. Um, indie games, I mean, it's and they're all exclusives. Um, the ones that really strike me as anything I would play is Ashen. Did you see Ashen? Don't think it was I a fantasy Ashen. game, no one had any faces, like they were just like mannequins, <laughs> like <laughs> mannequin faces. That doesn't ring any bells. Uh, they, 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 it was like a it just looked like a fantasy game, and then they got to kind of, kind of like a giant at the end of it or something like that. It was, it was, a, it was a Japanese yeah. title. Uh, there was other. Japanese titles. Cuphead was insane. I don't even know what oh that is. Oh my god! I can't believe Cuphead's finally coming out. What is that? Uh, it's a side scroller that kind 40s, of forties, thirties. Yeah, it, it it 
uh, takes that look of like animated 20s, 30s, 40s cartoons and it's an interactive like old school Mickey Mouse cartoon. It looks like a nightmare. Over the top, yeah. It looks like a, it looks like a goddamn Interesting. nightmare. Interesting. Yeah, this is something You've up your my interest. Yeah. You, you, I'd like to get your thoughts on it. I am listening. <laughs> Um, what else was it? Shadow of War, which I know is the the uh-huh. the mortal, which I never played, dude. That that was I such should, a great game. I, and I and I feel bad. That whole thing, the, the whole the game looked about like the other game, but the aspect that I really like is he was like conquering like these foes, but he didn't kill them. Mm-hmm. He 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 mind melds with them, and he says, "You're a part of my crew now," and he takes them, giants, mm-hmm. ogres, other warriors. He tells them, and then you're a part of the light war. Mm-hmm. And now they're a part of his war, and they're in his roster. So he's taking them, and they fight for him. Okay. It's and, really cool. And they're building on, the, it was called the Nemesis enemy system in the first game, what you're mm-hmm. talking about, how like if you randomly run into an orc out in the wilderness, and he kills you, just randomly kills you, that orc gets promoted, and he gains followers. And you can follow this orc's for lack of a better term, career. Yeah. And the further he gets, uh, or the further he works his way up the chain of command, the stronger he gets, the more abilities he has, the more followers he has. Wow. And it really feels like they've revamped it to where in this game, uh, Matt made the reference to, it's like, you uh, once you control them, you can now talk to them for like uh, info on their big bad. You can, you can call on them uh, and their clan to come and help you in a siege of like, it looked mm-hmm. like a, a town of some sort. Yeah. So I'm very excited excited and interested to see what shadow of war is doing because the first one of these games, it came out of nowhere and it like, I think it came out in 2014 and shadow of Mordor, shadow of Mordor. Yeah. And that ended up being like, if it wasn't the best game that came out that year, it was like it was, top two, top yeah. three. Cause I remember I being a big fan of that one. The yeah. nemesis enemy system was a massive game changer. So I am very excited to see what this team can do with more power behind it. Very exciting. More power. Um, a good one to check out, I won't talk much on it, is The Last Night. Eight, it was an 8 bit retro looking game. It was cool. Okay. It looked like Blade Runner. It wasn't a Transformers. It reference. was not. It was not a tra- Transformer. No, it didn't happen. No Mark Wahlberg. He was like, hey, man. Come Say no. your mother for me. Say your mother for me. Um, other than that, they had a. The Darwin Project was insane. It mm-hmm. was basically a reality game show of death. You had to kill everybody and then you progress to the next level and mm-hmm. you're just like a person. You know, they throw you out in the wilderness. Um, the big one I thought that was a big multiplayer thing was Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Player Unknown's mm-hmm. been a big PC game. I was going to say that's a massive get for Microsoft and the Xbox One because, like you said, this has a huge following on PC, and this is the console exclusive for mm-hmm. this massively popular game. So and, I mean, job. most YouTubers who play any kind of games on their channels, that's on their channel ninety mm-hmm. percent of the time. If they're if they're like you know paid kind of guys. They that but you know, um, player unknowns on there, so but uh, I mean, that other than that, I, I thought they did a good job. There was a super lucky's tail made me sad because I thought it was gonna be conquers <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. Um, th- they did another Ori, which I don't know if I ever want to play that game, but it's such a beautiful game. I just want to watch it. Though I heard that they give out tissues in the crowd. Oh, there you <laughs> they go. They literally gave out a because box of tissues because it it's so be sad. It's sad. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> like the last dinosaur <laughs> that movie. <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, I didn't. Nothing else like grabbed my. I mean, you know, Tacoma, Sea of, sea of Thieves. I wanted to talk about that. That looks. Fun. It like, looks fun, but it looks so corny. But you know what? Like, for, don't get me wrong. It, there's another pirate game that I am way more interested in. Okay, than that. then you and I are complete opposites on the two pirate games that we got yeah. shown at E3 this year. Uh, I am more in the camp of Sea of Thieves. Looks more like my game because yeah. it looks more cartoony, Campy. more fun. Like, like yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Where on the flip side, I um, think you've got more friends online than I do. Well, because gonna... that looks like it'd be a lot of fun with people you know. Fair enough. I don't know anyone. <laughs> but then on the flip side, it's like everyone's what's, got PS4. What's the uh, what's the name like? Sails and blood. Oh, or... bone and skulls. Bone and skulls. It's Holy like, crap! That uh, thing's awesome. Okay, looking. this looks like it's really a super serious. Takes itself too serious. Pirate game. Okay, cool. It's kick ass. <laughs> and it, like like it, it's we're jumping ahead to the Ubisoft stuff, but it's like yeah. uh, it's pre- it's pretty much Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag that removes all the Assassin's Creed stuff in it. So it is strictly just. A the naval a boat battle system. Okay. Which, by the yeah. way, that was my I least like... favorite thing in any <laughs> Assassin's Creed. I will game. say that I've played some like um, what I would call not not really mobile games, but but just online like uh, one off kind of games that have been like sea battle type things mm-hmm. that I've had a good time playing. I could see doing that, but I couldn't see being interested in it like for 
you know, multiple hours. Like it'd be something. Well, that, no, it's a PVP. I mean, like yeah. they have well, I mean, a that aspect that's of I mean. it, but like it's an online open world. So when you go to get treasure, it's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto. If another boat rolls up, they can sit there and just start blowing your shit to nothing mm-hmm. while you're down under the water trying to get some treasure. You get eat by sharks. It, so okay, and then the other, but the Sea of Thieves is more. The sea of Thieves is. It, don't get me wrong, it was funny, and that whole thing with the banana that is the new meme now. You know, where he, <laughs> it, it, someone hands him a banana, and the stem part he sticks in his mouth, and it's like, and the, I think the meme is, "Hey, here's a banana. You know how to eat one of those, don't you?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he ran it down his throat. <laughs> of course, uh, <laughs> but it, it was funny. I think the narration was more of the game than yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. I think you need. I hope that that's maybe part of it leading you through or whatever that kind of charm yeah it, it was really VR really had. funny and charming it was really good but i feel like you're not going to get that while you play yeah, so I mean, you're going to be your own mm-hmm. narrator but I, I get what you see it's, it's very campy you know i could play it it's just i like the other one better fair enough so this game was announced in 2015 at e3 in yeah. 2015 it's been in, it's been in development forever and, and that that's going to be that's going to be a thing that we it might as well have been a sony title and it, apparently at the time microsoft executive kodu sunoda proclaimed it as the best game that rare has ever made can, which is a according that to makes the, sense that a, makes big a bold sense. statement yeah. considering mm-hmm. they made goldeneye goldeneye conquers donkey kong perfect country. Dark, perfect dark donkey kong country you might like it because of the aspect of how it is like donkey kong country in a, in a sense it's not a side scroller but it's goofy yeah interesting that's very interesting mm-hmm. uh i didn't think we were going to be uh, introduced to so many pirate games at e3 yeah, this what, week what happened well you know johnny depp does Dead determine no yeah he hey, does johnny determine. depp isn't that powerful i mean come on but. hey he's the invisible man now so yeah with, with, with 9, <laughs> who stars. knows what he's doing yeah <laughs> Uh, well, before we before we get out of uh, the Microsoft, I want to want to. Well, we take missed. A, we we're not leaving it yet. So. Okay, it felt like you were transitioning nope. out, but I want to talk about Anthem. Talk about Anthem. Okay, Anthem was cool. Yeah, um, I Anth- feel like Anthem is your answer to how you got abandoned on Mass Effect. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't read my notes? Because that's pretty, like like it feels like <laughs> Destiny it, meets I, Mass Effect. I mean, I'm, it's like the I'm third there. person <laughs> Destiny. F- yeah, out open world, but Mass Effect over the shoulder, and mm-hmm. I mean. It looks so cool. It looks so awesome. But like Matt said, it's like, I'm really starting to feel like a jilted lover because like, <laughs> yeah. if this is what this game already looks like, and I guarantee you, we're, we're probably not seeing this until at the very yeah. early, it's like 2019 early. If that's what this game already looks like, and Andromeda was, was, in, was in development for five years, it's like, what yeah. the hell, man? I, I mean, it's, and, they're and just I'm, good at developing it. Well, and it's like we uh, we put up the article that Kotaku had on our mm-hmm. Facebook page about the troubled development of Andromeda and everything that went into it. And it's like they made reference uh, that there was a uh, codenamed Dylan project that they were working on. Lo and behold, Anthem is Dylan. Mm. And so I can see why they wanted to put all these eggs in this basket to make it look that good. But at the same time, it's like Mass Effect is right over here. This is y'all's baby. So are y'all <laughs> telling me? You're done with Mass Effect. You're done with Dragon Age. You're gonna go be Destiny Two. Dragon Age, not Destiny Two, the game. Yeah, Destiny or Destiny. Dragon's Age is is a surprise for me because I mean, as popular as that game was, and Inquisition, I heard wasn't huge. It was still a good game, but I heard everybody was really happy Mm -hmm. with it. I heard it was short though. It's kind of short. I do want to say I saw rumors uh, that. Dragon Age 4 is coming. It's in development. Yeah. But that was before we got the news that Mass Effect is quote on ice. Well, I think The Witcher took its took the wind right out from under it because it seems like Dragon Age came out and then Witcher was like, oh, hey, you remember mm-hmm. me? Remember all the lewd things you can do in this fantasy game? Come on over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and yeah, they did kind of come out very similar. Right yeah. after, I, I think. I, I don't think it was before. I think it was right after. But uh, I'm excited for Anthem. Uh, it I'm, says, by the way, I just read that it says it'll be a 2018 release. <laughs> I'm just saying, nice. that's what it said. Okay, yeah, and hey. Kingdom Hearts is coming out this year, you guys. <laughs> Good luck. Uh-huh. Um, I noticed that Nintendo didn't announce anything like that. And, and it's just... I'm excited, obviously, but yeah, it's like I'm really, really starting to worry about Mass Effect's future going forward. Yeah. It's like, but Anthem looks cool, so, so if you're going to screw Mass Effect, you better make this damn good. All right, guys, so we're running a little bit long, as we figured we might, because E3 had a lot of content, a lot of things to consume. So here's what I suggest. Let's break this up into two parts. Um, we covered a couple of the big ones with EA and Microsoft here in the beginning. I know we've, got, we've still got some big ones coming, but maybe we can lo- move a little bit faster. So we're going to call this part one. 
We're going to wrap it up for today, and then we'll move into part two. So here, really quickly, I want to ask you guys to go out, visit us on Twitter, at nerd underscore news underscore cafe. Visit us on Facebook, nerdnewscafe.com. You can go to our website, nerdnewscafe.com, um, <laughs> which is what I should have said. The Facebook fan page is Nerd News Cafe. Um, interact with us. Let us know what your reactions were specifically to you know the, the, the different conferences you saw at EA what were the big highlights? What were the lowlights? Um, we'll, and we'll, you know, we can bring those things into the conversation next week. Um, this this first episode will come out on uh, Thursday morning, and I'll probably I'll do like the second one Thursday evening. So you'll get Ooh. yeah, you'll get a double release on Thursday, and that'll and the Thursday evening will have our poll. How about that? So um, thanks everybody for listening, and we will see you in just a few hours on part two of the. E3 reaction explosion. Uh.